Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Uh, this is a question from a old Solomon collection, the Solomon collection of papers from C2, from um, the C2 collection of Solomon, which is, this question is number six from that paper, and it's a question that I have collated in my end of topic worksheet for chapter seven of P2, a differentiation. And this question here, um, I'm going to answer um, on the, on the request of one of my students at school. It says a curve has the equation y equals x cubed plus ax squared minus 15x plus b, where a and b are constants. Uh, given that the curve is stationary at the point minus 112, find the values of a and b. And then it says find the coordinates of the other stationary point on the curve. So first of all, we'll use this information that they've told us that um, it has a stationary point at the point minus 112. So that means... Um, Basically, minus 112, minus 112 is a stationary point. Let's start that again. Okay, so minus 112 is a stationary point. And a stationary point means the gradient is equal to zero. The stationary point, therefore, dy dx is equal to zero at the point when x equals 1. Minus 1, sorry, minus 112. When x equals minus 1. x equals minus 1 dy dx equals 0. So I can use that fact to make an equation. So I can say, okay, let me take the equation y equals x cubed plus ax squared minus 15x plus b. And let me differentiate this. Okay, so if I differentiate this, I get dy dx is equal to 3x squared multiply by the power, take one from the power, plus multiply by the power, you got 2a and then x to the power of 1, and this is like minus 15. Now, uh, an x term just basically loses the x. The reason being is because you've got x to the power of 1 here, which isn't actually normally written. 1 times 15 is 15, and then you've got take one from the power, you get x to the power of 0, which gives you 1, and a, any constant term that you differentiate becomes 0. So b becomes 0, and we're here we're left with our um, differential, but we know that dy dx equals 0 when x equals minus 1. So we can say when x equals minus 1, dy dx must be 0. So let's put in minus 1 instead of x. Minus 1 squared, 3 times minus 1 squared, plus 2a times minus 1 minus 15 is equal to 0. That's the gradient function is equal to 0 when x equals minus 1. So that gives you 3 minus 2a minus 15 equals 0. So you have a 3 minus 15, so you have minus 2a minus, 3 minus 15 is minus 12, so therefore we have a is equal equal 0, sorry. So therefore we're going to have, um, let's just continue this, make some space. Okay, so we have minus 2a equals 12, minus 2a equals 12, so a is equal to negative 6, so that's the value of a. So we found A using the fact that the gradient was 0. We now have to find the value of B. Now to find the value of B, well, we know that the curve passes through this point. So basically when X is minus 1, Y is equal to 12. So if I take the equation of the curve, knowing that A is minus 6 now, I can say that Y equals X cubed, X cubed minus 6X squared, because I know a is 6 now, minus 15x and plus b. And I know that the curve passes to the point minus 1, 12. So basically, when x equals minus 1, y equals 12. So I can replace the y with 12, and I can replace the x with minus 1. So I have minus 1 cubed, minus 6 times uh, minus 1 squared, minus 15 times minus 1 plus b. So I've got 12 equals. This is minus 1, because minus 1 cubed is negative 1. Minus 6 times minus 1 squared, well, that's minus 6 times 1, which is minus 6. And plus 15 plus b. So let's just simplify this side. You have minus 7, minus 7 um, plus 15. That's 15 minus 7, which is 8. So you have 8 plus b. So you end up with... Uh, 12 minus 8 is equal to b, so b is equal to 12 minus 8, which is equal to 4, so b is equal to 4. So we end up with our values of a and b, 
a equals negative 6 and b equals 4. And that's the answer to part A of this question. Okay, so for part B, we're asked to find the coordinates of the other stationary point of the curve. Now, we've already determined the values of A and B are minus 6 and 4. So now we have to basically um, differentiate. Well, we already differentiated, actually. But we'll differentiate now with all the values that we have. So we know that dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 12x minus 15. Okay, so that's the differential. And we know that um, when dy dx equals 0, we get a stationary point. So when dy dx equals 0, we have the stationary point. So 3x squared minus 12x minus 15 equals 0. All of those are divisible by 3 to make it easier to solve. x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Now we already know that one of the factors must be x plus 1 because x equals minus 1 is a stationary point. So, you know, it's pretty easy for us to just realize the other one must be um, here x minus 5 in, in the bracket here, x squared minus 5x plus x minus 5, that's correct. So we, our two solutions here are x equals minus 1 and x equals 5. Of course, this is the other, the other one that we're looking for. This is the stationary point that we need because this, one, this is the one that isn't minus 1. It's asking us to find the value of that stationary point. Okay, now, so what we've got to do is we've got to now substitute, or we've got to now um, find what the y value is. It says find the coordinates. So we know that x is equal to 5. We've got to find the y value. So as we remember, y equals x cubed. It was minus 6a squared, x squared, minus 6x squared. And you had plus 15, minus 15x plus 4. Minus 15x and plus 4. So when x equals 5, y is equal to 5 cubed, minus 6 times 5 squared, minus 15 times 5, plus 4. We could use a calculator for that. You have 125 uh, minus 6 times, that's 6 times 25. So that's like uh, 4 times 25 is 100, 6 times 25 is 150, uh, minus 15 times 5, which is 75, and plus 4. So you have 125 minus... 150 which is going to be minus 25 minus 25 minus 75 is minus um, 100 uh, minus 100 plus 4 is minus 96 let me just make sure that i didn't make a silly mistake there and just substitute those values in and see so we have um, 5 cubed 5 cubed minus 6 times 5 squared whoops 6 times 5 squared um, minus 15 times 5 um, plus 4 minus 96 yes so there we have it the other coordinates of the other stationary point are 5 and minus 96 okay so this is the other stationary point okay this is the other stationary point stationary and there we have the answer to this question. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's any other questions that you might, I will answer from this uh, particular Solomon H paper, you would find in the playlist that should have here, here once I start adding uh, questions to that. You can find other questions that are to do with differentiation from P2 in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel, clicking on the link here. And at the top of the page here, you can um, find a link to a P2 past paper you might find useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.